Hello everybody, I'm Naledi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. This is a one pot dumpling and beef stew cooking tutorial. You will need 5 tablespoons of flour, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of instant yeast and 5 tablespoons of sugar and 1 tablespoon of oil. Then you mix these thoroughly with warm water warm water preferably use your hands for this step to make sure all the ingredients are thoroughly combined and once everything is mixed you let it rest in a warm place you can occasionally check on it and knead it down again and then let it rise again um I left it out throughout the whole day until I started cooking later on and I needed it like two to three times throughout the day as um, it was expanding and then I added one grated carrot in there before cooking it. I did use the bigger holes to grate the carrot and it had this... Um, crunchy texture it added this crunchy texture to the dumpling but if you don't like that and you'd like um, your carrot fully cooked then you can use the smaller side of the grater and just to make sure that everything is fully cooked then i buttered my muffin pan um, to make sure that the dough doesn't stick and then i spooned um, the dumpling dough in there then i started off with my beef stew fried it well cut it first and then fried it or browned it with olive oil in there please excuse my voice i'm a bit sick you guys so bear with me you know what they say the show must go season on. your beef stew with spices of your choice according to your taste and likes and chop up the veggies that you do have available i used onion and green and red pepper if yellow pepper is there i was also going to use that just for color and i added a tablespoon of garlic and ginger i then chopped up carrot and potato and add it back to the pot once that was fried and then a glass of wine a cup of water and i let it boil and then i added two and a half beef stock for flavor and salt then i added a quarter of cabbage cut it up and added it into the pot um i mixed all of these together and then i added my remaining dumpling dough in there while the other dough is cooking in a muffin pan in the oven and then i served both of these uh for everyone um and it was honestly so nice the full recipe is available in the description below that's it for me thank you bye